illustrated out the concern is misplaced because india is under no obligation under the wto agreement on agriculture to reduce any of subsidy given to our farmers this is because the total aggregate value of subsidy given to the farmers namely subsidy of fertilization the electricity she specialized and cost of credit available on all crops as well as agriculture commodities is very low the ceiling prescribable or to be out agreement then what are the present situation in india he again said the following is the opinion of the ministry of Foreign commerce and opinion is sometimes expressed that subsidy both product specific non product specific to farm sector might be the gaps accord i recognize the some sports support both product specific non product specific is needed to achieve the objective of food security and to be self sufficient in food production conclusion have been made by eminent experts like mr a b ganswami that in the basis of to na year 1986 97 and 87 88 and 88 89 both the product specific and non product specific subsidy provided by government of india to farmer sector without taking into account concerns provided by agreement but negotiation is the clear picture which are uh, the uh, the ministry of commerce wants to show that the food subsidy which government of india is providing by pds system affects by agreements of agriculture of wto the objective which i have taken in my paper is what was the role of india with regard to agriculture in wto gap with the agreement of agriculture subsidies are the food farm sector will india's farm sector farm sector affect the impose as the result of minimum market accessibility will the wto agreement affect the public distribution system pds will the wto agreement influence with india's ability to follow its own agriculture policies what is the status of food security in india and lastly but not the least what are the present status of the wto negotiation of towards india everybody knows what is the ao but i will just small uh, in short i want to express the committee under the ao can divide into the three broad areas like uh, market accessibility exports competitions and the domestic support for instance of eu and us can away with the providing huge level of subsidies in the form simply by rejection of amber blue boxes uh, amber blue boxes and other boxes for the into the blue green boxes in the theory the developing world can also play the game but that is a little more then a big debating point after all the developing world agreements can hardly afford a quantum of subsidy forward in the eu and us japan etc means our situation like we if we are comparing to developing countries in the developed countries our situation is not so good because if we are not going to give subsidy to the farmers how they will sustain how they will grow food for us so it will be create the like supply will affects because the farmer is not able not just much capable without the subsidy which is providing by the government of india the food security agreement food security as defined by fao is the physical and economic access for all people at all times to enough food for an activity health life with no risk of losing success access such as access as such as directly concerned with life in and developing country without people the, the group of people make a family a healthy family makes good society a good society society makes good state and a good state can make a good country and a good country the group of the good country can make world healthy if a person is missing we can think about the world if we are talking about the globality and the global accessibility what about the common people who is suffering for food we should think about the person who was who, who are not able to get two time of bread so it's a responsibility of the government the 
that he should provide the like a, uh, like the support to that person who are poor and who can able to earn the bread for their, their daily needs. Like what are the impact is going to be had by the WTO uh, agreement in our in our country? I have just uh, stated some uh, data and all data is also there in the conference volume, but smallly and can't uh, uh, like uh, conclusion I'm going to uh, express here. The final act of Ruby Round, signed in 120 countries, brought into the first time the legalization of the World Trade Agreement. It is decided that the time of signing of the agreement in 1994, the concern assignment for the existing agreements on agriculture should start from 1 month 2000. According to such mandatory negotiations have commented, initially the proposal for negotiations are being received received in WTO as agreement is no goal, uh, no goal on consultation developing and developed countries. WTO watches feel that the negotiations are likely to be continued for a few years and there are serious differences amongst the major players. Like the economy which are developed, they don't feel any problem. But the economy like India who are developing with the with this regard, if we cannot able to support for our farmers, the condition of farmers is very, like become very, um, very critical. Like uh, in a uh, inaugural session, uh, the government, uh, the governor of uh, Uttarakhand has all, also stated that the, the situation of agriculture is very poor. Now the first, the, the first runner, the first sector is service sector. But what about the, the agricultural abandoned countries? If this type of agreement is there in our country, if the, the WTO is biased upon our, this type of subsidy, we cannot able to sustain and we, the, the agriculture cannot able to grow. The growth which occurs, which, which, which we can able to see, it's for the instead of the inner power of the farmers. If I, I visited so many uh, rural areas and talked to the farmers, then what are the problems? Most of the people, most of the farmers cannot know about the sub services which the government of India is providing them. If the literacy rate is not increased, so there is no, uh, like uh, the, the, whenever we are increasing our export and all, we will say that trade is the growth, engine of the growth. How the growth will occur? If the agriculture is missing. So as the agriculture, uh, agriculture country, we have to focus upon, upon the market accessibility, accessibility, uh, in our country. The concluding part I have discussed about uh, like with, uh, I, I accept this like uh, the secondary data which I have access uh, from the different type of sources. The, the data cannot be able to show me the real picture. After this session I will work on that topic also, re, uh, refine it and I will uh, definitely uh, make a new conclusion on that topic because uh, something which I was accessing that data is not available. But for the, the, the things which I have got, according to that, I have made some three or four points for the concluding four point. That is, like, why India would like to develop world to open up the market for export reduced subsidies? It is reduction of open up Indian market by discovery reduction tariff, arguing it needs to be product instant as farmers. Like, if we cannot do, we can able to make some policy in, inside, like reduction of the tariff, market accessibility, then our farmer will do. Our farmer will get the support to uh, get the subsidy, to get the like uh, growth content. And definitely, like the pesticides, the irrigation, like, uh, like dip irrigation system is there. If farmer will get the more knowledge about how they can apply the dip irrigation system, how they can reduce the expenditure on uh, inputs, as inputs they are giving the farm, definitely the farmer can make uh, their self healthier and the developed. The second point, the third Indian position is that the developing country needs to more open. Developing countries needs to more open their market than the developed. Given the later special needs, many analysts have argued that it is the important unrealistic position since the demand a lot be really concerned and it develop it's it is the responsibility of the major player of developed country to give support to the developing countries. Market accessibility should be there. They should extend the productivity of agriculture, then only the like uh, the farmer uh, can the uh, can uh, like get
get the benefits from the policies which are running in the India. The last, the accessibility use of subsidy in and, uh, and the result practices by the developing countries towards past World War period led the least large scale of destroying in the trade of our agriculture product, thereby adversely affect the export potential developing countries with the competition among the uh, advantages of the developing countries agriculture as well as the, uh, the dependence of agro exports for bulk in their export only. Destruction is global trade regime and agriculture has been the most effectively barriers to sustain application of agriculture production export in third world country. And if we want to develop the country in 2050 as our last uh, previous talks are there, World Bank report on already says if we cannot uh, if, if we cannot give the support to the common people, common, if the development of per capita income is not there, the development of uh, the standard of living will not develop in the country. No, nothing can, can be happen because the policy should focus on the poor, the individual, then only uh, India can sustain. Last but not least, I would like to give my last remark. Bharat. तो अगर हमें एक एक ऐसे देश के रूप में देखना है जो कि अब बीट करे हमारे डेवलप्ड और एक एक ऐसे रूप में देखो जहां पर हमें ऐसा लगे कि यस हम वहां पे आ रहे हैं क्योंकि हर चीज डेवलप हो रही है पर क्या करें हम इसे इंक्रीजी जीडीपी इसे इंक्रीजी सर्विस सेक्टर इसे इंक्रीजी एक्सपोर्ट इसे इंक्रीजी in the room way, the grass way, when we are talking to the poor, they will say, I don't know anything. What is this? This is the lack of education or this is the gap of policy makers to the gain of it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 